All right, let's get going on some answers here. Uh, again, it is May 18th or 19th, five questions on the starter. So reading these through, when we start with one reactant, it is called synthesis. What is the atomic mass of nitrogen and two, 14, 21, or 28? Number three, if we start with NH3 and make it decompose, what do we get? Number four, if we decompose NH3, what limits the reaction? And then do a little bit of a stoichiometry problem. All right, so I'm gonna switch over here to uh, uh, my iPad, go on to Apple TV a second, and we're there, all right, got her set. All right, so let's go ahead through these. Number one, synthesis and decomposition, A plus B, AB, that's synthesis. So if there's one product, okay, one product, which is this right here, that's synthesis. But if there is one reactant, which is what the question says, okay, one reactant, it is not synthesis. That's how we know it is decomposition. Got it, Fred? All right, good. All right. So that first one was false. Number two, okay? I wanna know the atomic weight of N2. So we need to zip over to our periodic table, look at nitrogen a minute, and right there is nitrogen. And it says 14, 14 for one of them, okay? And so we'll go over here because we got a little addition to do, right there. We have N plus N, which is going to be 14 plus 14, which is equal to 28 grams. Remember, for one mole, okay? And so the correct answer was letter C, like Charlie. All right, number three. What I want to know next is if I break down NH3, I want to know what I'm going to get. And so if we think about that decomposition, we know we're going to break it apart. We're going to get nitrogen and hydrogen. But if that's all you wrote, keep in mind, you got to do the diatomics, which means each of those needs a two on them because they're diatomic and they're by themselves. We do not want to carry the three or the one over onto that right side. That three and the one are there because this one had a charge of three, this one had a charge of one, and we crossed those over. Those numbers had to do with charge, not diatomic. On the right side, it all has to do with diatomic numbers, okay? So the right answer was, uh, oh, let's see, how about uh, C? I think it was, yeah, C. All right, number four, limiting. On a decomposition reaction, what limits it is always the one reactant. So in this case, it's NH3. That's it. What's on the left side, what we start with, limits it. When we run out, that's it. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do a stoichiometry problem here. Um, I'm going to start with my reactant. That's step one, NH3. Okay. Write the arrow. Then the next thing is write the products. Well, I'm gonna break it down and we already talked about that a little bit. I'm gonna get nitrogen and hydrogen. Remember to leave some space in there. Step three, do the diatomics. Well, nitrogen and hydrogen are both diatomic. So I have to put some twos in there, all right? Nitrogen and hydrogen, NH3 on the left side, balance the molecule. Well, in this case, it is balanced, NH3 uh, is perfectly balanced as we saw in that earlier question. The next step is balance the whole reaction. Well, I've got three hydrogens on the left, two on the right, and so I know if I put opposite numbers there like that, I'm going to end up with six hydrogens on the left and six hydrogens on the right. Now I just have to work with the nitrogen. I have two on the left, two on the right already, so I just need a one. All right, so we now have a balanced chemical reaction. Don't go into the stoichiometry without one. Okay, 
Now we just have to draw some lines. Draw the lines underneath each one. Remember, all of these are grams. These are the given ones, the ones that either I give you or you make up sometimes. These are the atomic masses. We get those from the periodic table. And up on top here, we have moles. All right, we're ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some atomic weights. We've got to get those off the periodic table. Well, we already added up nitrogen and hydrogen. In this case, nitrogen and hydrogen. So we have nitrogen. There's one of those times 14 for 14 as a mass. Hydrogen, there's three of those times one each. So that's three. And if we add that total up, we're going to get 17. 17 for one of them. I don't use this little two here yet. It's too early for that. Don't use it. Okay, just one NH3. All right, N2. We already did that one. So N2 we know is 28. And then H2, just one plus one. One plus one is going to be two. All right. So we've got those masses in there, and then I suggested to you that we needed to start with 85 grams. All right, so we got to do a little division, put that little division sign in there. 85 divided by 17, it actually works out pretty good. I planned it that way. Okay, it comes up, divide. Write a 5 up there, because 85 divided by 17 is 5. We're going to use this ratio because... That one is the limiting one. It's the only one we have. So over here, we're going to do 5 over 2 equals, and this one right there, x over 1. Get that one there, x over 1. And on this side, 5 over 2. Notice we use this ratio for both of them. This is y, and so that right there, y over 3, okay, y over 3, and when we do that cross multiplication, we're going to get 2.5 and 7.5, all right. Our last step is to do some multiplication, so we're going to take the 2.5 and multiply by 28, so 2.5 times 28, and that's going to give us 70. And on this other one, we're going to take 7.5, and, and we're going to multiply that by 2 and get 15. So notice now that when we're all done, we actually, if I take the 70 and the 15 and I add those two together, it equals what I started with, 85. It has to because conservation of mass says I can't create or destroy matter. All right, so that's the complete stoichiometry. I'll take the next one as a demonstration just a little bit slower for you uh, so you can follow along a little bit more if you need to.